Just before we start, I wanted to just mention that this whole video was inspired by this comment. So thanks, Max, for your input. I appreciate it. This is how to make a reggae type beat by a guy who has been playing reggae for about three months. Step one, chords. Keep it simple, especially if you're just starting out like me, most of the time you're probably gonna be playing in major keys, which is fine. Most reggae music is sort of that feel good under the sun type of vibe, which major keys are pretty good at. Step two, rhythm. Reggae is one of those genres that has a lot of soul to it. And likewise, its rhythms are also going to reflect that. So think of it as a slow sort of bounce. It makes you want to move, makes you want to bob your head a little, but it makes you also want to sway smoothly to the sound. So what does this mean for the rhythm? Guitar and keyboards often play on offbeat chords. We know this, go and listen to literally any reggae song and it's there. No surprises here. But what some may not know, because it's usually in the background, is what's known as bubble chords or bubble rhythm. And it sounds like this. The bubble rhythm is a staple of reggae music and is sort of a hybrid between the beats and the melody because you're basically playing the bongos on your keyboard. Step three, drums. No need to get fancy here. Again, just keep it simple. Most reggae songs are gonna have your kicks on beats one and three and your snares on beats two and four. Occasionally there might be a simple fill to bridge certain parts of the song together, but most of the time, you can get away with playing pretty much the same beat through the whole song, and no one will get mad at you. Step four, bass. Bass. Reggae bass is a little different. Usually you don't want to get too crazy with the notes, but go ahead and jam out with the rhythm. Just hit record, play whatever feels right to fill in that bass track, and there you go. Bass. Side note, I don't actually own a bass yet, uh, so I'm just gonna use my guitar and pitch it down an octave after recording. Step five, extras. Here it's just adding some fine details such as a guitar riff to flesh out that intro, other effects or dubby sounds, or even playing some actual bongos if you happen to have them. Finally, put all your tracks together, mix it to taste, and you've got yourself a reggae type beat worthy of being featured on Stick Figures free flow sessions. Notice me, please. Scott, I love you. I don't know, there's not any, there's not, there's no not weird way of saying that, anyway.
Thanks so much for watching. Please let me know what you thought of this beat in the comments, and also if there's anything I forgot to cover. Also, for the two of you still watching, I have an album that I'm working on. Yeah. At the time of recording this, I'm about halfway done, but I'm super excited to finish it up and share it with all of you guys. And it is by far the biggest musical project I've ever done in the history of ever. So it would mean a lot to me if you guys checked it out when it was finished. There's a link below to my Discord if you want to follow up on that, or just check back in here on YouTube once in a while to see if it's done. So be subscribed so you don't miss out on that, okay? Alright, thanks. Bye.